Hello guys, and today we are here with the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Acorn Cup uh, DLC review. So today we are going to check that out, but first there are some extra things you need to check out. So first here, they made a new music tab. So you got this really cool cover art of Mario, like drifting, looks really awesome. But basically you can play any music you want. So like for instance like coconut mall is the best so we'll play some coconut mall for y'all to hear and you just got coconut mauled but anyway you can play it it's pretty cool isn't it uh let's go to something let's go to the um, actual game now so be right there with that oh i forgot to say there are some new characters so first they combined the inklings together so they did that they also combined the villagers together the two links, and you have Diddy Kong now, Funky Kong, Pauline, uh, then you have some new amiibo outfits, like these things here, uh, I don't, I don't really like any of these, but yeah, they're, they're there for people that wanted them, um, there's Peachette, and that's all, so, um, I think we'll play as Funky Kong, in celebration that he has returned to Mario Kart. So we'll play as some Funky Kong today. Um, we don't want to be on the cloud glider. Where's my gold glider? Yeah. Alright, so let's go to Acorn Cup. So we got Rome Aventi, DK Mountain, Daisy Circuit, and Piranha Plant Cove. Let's go. Alright, so here we are on Rome Aventy. I don't, I don't know how to say that, so I'm just going to say it different every time I see it, so, yeah. Alright, we're about to start. Hopefully I can get a good rev here. Alright, that was despicable, but it's alright. Alright, I've been playing on a Mario Kart Tour recently, and... That has made me a little bit worse at this game, sadly, so that won't be helping too much. Like, the drifting is different in Mario Kart Tour than it is in this game, so it's a little bit aggravating. Because I sit in school bored a lot, so I play Mario Kart Tour in my spare time when I have nothing else important to do. Because... That's just what I like to do. Um, can go through here. Guard myself from that red shell. Like how in Tour it automatically does that for you, but that's alright. I mean, this is a track from Tour, so I guess it's alright that I'm talking about Mario Kart Tour. Alright, second lap. Here's some item boxes. Also, single item boxes in that game can give you up to like three items at once. Uh, stone first with the villagers in front of me, but that's alright. Because that makes a lot of sense. Because they gotta fix some glitches. Um. Anyway. Funky Kong has some pretty sick drift moves. Oh god. Banana. Oh dude, that was a last second banana. That, that was like... Uh, amazing move on my behalf. Funky Kong has some pretty sick moves too. Like... He does like that surfboard flip thing when you hit a trick, which is pretty awesome. Probably should have played on 150, but it's alright. I'm getting a little slow here. I can't talk that much about a boring track. There's nothing really much to say about this one. It just feels like the basic Mario Kart Tour tracks we've been getting. Like, nothing that intuitive here. I mean, that was, that was kind of cool. Like, Chain Chomps and the Call of Sam's pretty awesome. But, not the greatest thing ever. Alright. Going around this bend, around some statue. And there's some fuzzies. And I got Blue Shell. Alright, let's go around the turn. And we are done with that race. 
So, Funky Kong is winning. Typically, I play as Light Blue Yoshi, but we have to get in the spirit of the new DLC. So, next race. Alright, here we are on DK Mountain. I've only heard good things about this stage, so I'm pretty excited to play it. It looks pretty sick. And I'm Funky Kong, so it makes sense that I can be here. So, let's go. Can I get a good boost? Yes, I can get a good boost. Alright, we got this winding path here. It's kind of strange there's... I know there is a Mario Kart Pro Controller for if you win the tournament, but it's kind of strange there isn't, like, a Mario, a Mario Kart, like, controller available to the public. Because right now I'm using my Splatoon 3 controller and I'm just thinking, like... They should really make a Mario Kart controller, like, I can think of so many cool ideas for that, but... The only one that I'm aware of is one that you get for winning the Mario Kart Championship, and... Judging by this gameplay you're seeing here, I don't think there's any way I'm winning any Mario Kart Championship anytime soon. So, yeah. Uh, we got a speaker box and a banana peel. Oh god, I flung off the stage. See, this is why I'm not gonna be in any Mario Kart 8 Champion ship anytime soon. I don't know why I like lagged there saying that. That's alright. You can't hop on any of that. That's good to know. I don't know why I randomly slowed down for obviously all oh, the boost on my banana peel. Utterly ridiculous. Alright, going through here. Be cool if you like went into the volcano and like started going around there, that would be pretty awesome, but they didn't do that. Oh, I lost my speaker box, that's annoying. I think it's called a super horn, if I look at the back of the box art for the original. Because I played this game on the Wii U, and I paid money to be different colored Yoshis and have two extra tracks. Just like, but like, I basically paid for the worst version of the booster course expansion pass. Probably why people hate the Wii U, but I liked Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. I don't know why I randomly slow down sometimes, it's kind of annoying. So, this stage is good, but my only complaint is that it's the same stage every time in the mountain stages. Typically, you like go down the mountain for the entire stage. Like, Donkey, I mean, not Donkey Kong Mountain, uh, Wario Mountain. Uh, like, you go down the whole mountain, like, and that's the track. But this one, you go up and down the mountain multiple times, which I guess isn't that bad. But it's also not the craziest thing ever. Also weird that typically villagers never in second place, but villagers just chilling in second place. Like, typically that just doesn't happen, but it is now for some reason. Typically, um, like, Donkey Kong is, like, in second all the time for some reason. Here we got some coins, and I fell in the pit again. And then, that's a repeat of why I'm not in the Mario Kart 8 Championship, because I'm terrible at this game. Well, I'm not terrible. I'm just, like, not the, not pro level. Okay, going through the winning gate now. Alright, let's go. Funky Kong's flexing his muscles right now and we got two more tracks left so let's keep going we got daisy circuit a uh, copper statue of luigi and daisy uh holding hands it's a little sus all right let's go here can i get a good boost and i can get a good boost let's go Right, let's see if this stage is any good. Oh, there's the Luigi simping statue. Pretty nice that that's there. We got, oh boy, they've been simping since they were babies. That's crazy. All right, uh, we got green shell to protect ourselves from attacking people. Up a little hop here. Oh, cool, Daisy Cruiser's in the background. That's pretty cool. 
a pretty nice detail right there. Can't let that red shell get to me. Alright, that's pretty cool. You can just like hang out on like this like copper path. I'm not what am I saying? Copper path. Stone path. I am stupid today. Alright, we got some coin here, but I already have ten coins because oh god, a blue shell's coming. Ugh. Blue shell, and I get struck by lightning. What an awful day. I have bad enough luck to get hit by a blue shell and struck by lightning. At least it was during my invincibility frame, so it didn't really matter other than I shrunk a little bit. This stage is also a looping stage, so that's alright, I guess. You can't tell by watching my other Mario Kart 8 videos, I really like stages that, like, the three laps are, like, different every time instead of like the same sort of thing I think those are pretty fun oh you can't hit a trick on that I have double bomb bombs it's kind of random and I'm like I'm about to lap the bullet bill that was ahead of me I guess uh, Bullet Bill fans will never get Bullet Bill with Mario Kart because he's an item. Also, Bomb Bomb will never get put in the Mario Kart or uh, anything else that's an enemy that's used. We Koopa Troopas in the game. What's like the shell? What's what has a blue shell in, in like Mario? Like, what has the blue shell? What has the blue shell? Because it looks like Bowser's shell, but it's blue. But there's never blue Bowser unless you're talking about like dark Bowser. But even then, I don't think his shell's blue. Okay, next race. Alright, Piranha Cove. This looks pretty awesome if you ask me. Bonefish. Big Eel. This looks pretty awesome. Anglerfish too. Anglerfish near the surface. They should be exploding. Did you know that if you bring an anglerfish up to the surface, it explodes because its body isn't meant to be not have pressure on it? Isn't that wild? I know, right? You really want to learn a useless fish fact today, but that's, you know, alright, I guess. You can't hurt to have any stupid facts in your brain. You know, having a plethora of fun facts, as they call them, uh, can't hurt to annoy some people, you know? You can't take an anglerfish out of the ocean, isn't that interesting? So, like, if you want a pet anglerfish, uh, I'm sorry, bro, but you can't have one, because it'll explode under the no pressure of around here, and if you want to go see an anglerfish, you're gonna get smooshed to death, because the water pressure will kill you, unless you're in a submarine. So, yep. That's why anglerfish should not be near the surface, but we're playing Mario Kart, so you can't take everything literally. Oh look, there they are. Now I can talk more about the anglerfish. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, let's let's keep let's like actually enjoy the track now. You got some P piranha uh, uh, stone statues. They're pretty awesome. I would put those on my house as decoration, to be quite honest. I wonder if Funky Kong will be meta like Mario Kart Wii, or will he just go into the roster of characters and to barely be used by anyone? I don't know. And is the rocket bike good for Funky, or is it just me just liking rocket bike way too much because it's just really cool looking in every possible way? I mean, like, tell me you wouldn't ride a rocket bike in real in real life, like, all someone have to say is, oh, I got you a rocket bike to drive, and I'd be like, oh, sick, let me take a ride on that, like, just look at the design, it's got, like, wings, like, it looks like it's gonna, like, actually fly away, like, it's just so cool, there's an item box in the mouth of the clam, who says we need pearls in the mouth of a clam when we got item boxes, no, pearls are overrated, we like item boxes around here. Like, you can get a free banana instead of thousands of dollars for selling a pearl. 
out of a clam. Alright, let's see what item we get. And we got a coin. You know, this should, like, buff that you don't get coins. They should, like, debuff the amount of coins you get when you're in first place. You know, it's kind of annoying. Because when you're always in first because you have super good Mario Kart skills like me that aren't tournament level, then, you know, you can be that. I don't know what I just said there, so, uh, whatever. And I got second place. Wow. Alright, whatever. Stupid Mario. I still won anyway, so let's view the results. I got that win stolen from me by none other than Mario. Oh, alright, here's the highlights reel. I was just looking at how my custom Yoshi coaster I have on my desk uh, has dirt on it. Alright, let's see here. Am I gonna... Uh, no, I didn't use the shell. Uh, it ended with me getting zapped by lightning. That's not fun. Alright, we got the acorn cup. Don't know why it's the acorn cup, but whatever. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me play Mario Kart tracks. Um, the blue shell cup will be coming soon after this video. Probably the next video, or if not the next after this video but we'll see what goes on and uh make sure to comment like and subscribe i'd appreciate any possible subscriptions anyone can make i'm at like 207 subscribers now it'd be awesome if i could get some more and uh make sure to like the video so more people can see it and if you have a friend that really likes mario kart you should send this video to them so then it gives me more likes and views because that would be awesome and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.